Hi everyone, so I'm back with a great off-campus opportunity and this one is with IBM. So if you don't know by now, IBM is hiring for software engineering interns right now. So this is a great opportunity for all of you people that are looking for an internship. So IBM was hiring for interns a while back and then they closed that opening. And a lot of you guys messaged me saying that you missed it, you were not able to apply in time. So this is for you again because they're hiring again. And do not miss it this time because it's a great opportunity. So I highly suggest all of you guys that are eligible for this make sure that you apply for this and today overall is a great day hiring wise a lot of companies are hiring today a lot of companies have you know posted about openings today so make sure that you apply to the one that suits you i'll be giving links to every opening that has opened today in the description box so you can pick one and apply and make sure that you stay tuned for all of the videos i'm making today because like i said there are many many companies that have just recently opened their hiring today itself all right and of course the link for ibm internship is also going to be there in the description box so watch the complete video and then apply for it ASAP. And if you're someone who's having difficulty in off-campus placements, you're not able to get your resume shortlisted, you're not able to crack the interviews, you don't know how to prepare with your exact scenario, then you can connect one to one with me. Well, I'll personally help you, guide you, mentor you, and I'll find you the perfect roadmap that you can follow to crack your dream company. So you can connect one to one with me. The link for that is going to be in the description box. All right, coming back to this opportunity, like I said, IBM is hiring for internship and it's not IBM, it is IBM ISDL, which is the development lab, which is the product side of IBM. So it is sort of the product based side of IBM. That's why I said it's a great opportunity because they have a decent pay for stipend and they have a decent overall package as well. If you get selected into it full time. Okay, so it's a great opportunity. As for the location, it is in uh, Hyderabad and Bangalore, I think. So list of locations will be in the description box. You can cross check from there. But they have two or three different locations that they're hiring this role for. Okay, so great opportunity. And as for the eligibility, they haven't, they haven't been very clear about it. You know, this is something that I dislike. They haven't been very clear about it. All they've said is bachelor's degree. That's it. That's all they've said. As for the education or qualification, bachelor's degree. So it's not very clear. So take it with a grain of salt because I'm not fully sure they haven't made it completely clear. So if you're 2025 grad, for sure you can apply. But if you're 2026 grad, I'm not completely sure because they haven't made it clear. They've said bachelor's degree, but they've not said it should be completed. It should be undergoing. But you know what I say, when in doubt, always apply. And even if you cannot apply for this, there are so many openings. I'll give a link to everything in the description box. So do not worry too much about the eligibility. Wherever it's ambiguous, just, you know, give it a try. If not, they'll not accept you or you'll not be able to give your form. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much about the eligibility. It's a shame, it's a bit ambiguous, but nothing we can do about it. All right, now we come to how do you get your resume shortlisted of what the role is about. So here they have a bunch of requirements. Usually companies don't put a lot of specification that we want this, we want that. But here IBM has been pretty open about the kind of skills that they're looking for. So they have a bunch of skills. Of course, I cannot name them one by one, otherwise this video is gonna get too, too long. So what I'll be doing as usual, I'll be giving you guys a list of keywords that entire list of keywords is going to be in the description box. This list of keywords pretty much aligns with what they're looking for, okay? So this list of keywords matches the JD, matches the technical requirements that they have. So you can frame your resume accordingly. See, the most important thing you need to do to get shortlisted in any company's interview is to mold your resume according to the JD, according to the TR that they have. That is the most important. So if they're looking for someone who's a bit into cloud, you need to put a bit of cloud tech. If, you, if there's someone who's looking for a bit of backend, you have to put a bit of backend in your resume. Your resume should be in the exact same direction that the company is trying to go into. Okay? So the entire list of keywords is there. You can choose those keywords and integrate them in your resume. Of course, don't put anything you don't know about. You don't know anything about you can learn and then put that is something i always suggest but of course the list of keywords will be there in the description box whenever possible i always give you guys a list of keywords i pick all of the keywords so you don't have to do that and you can just directly have a look at the keywords and then you know integrate them in your resume and apply so always have an editable resume format ready you don't need to make different resumes have one resume resume template which is editable which is sort of like your master template and then you can edit it according to the role that you're going for and then apply. But have one master template. You don't need to be going around with 10, 15 resume template, keeping track of everything. No, only one and you can edit it and then apply. But one master resume is very important. Okay. And of course, you can edit it company to company. Now, so the skills you can mention in the content. Apart from that, of course, you know the drill. Put some high quality projects. Now, these projects should also match with the JD. If the JD is backend heavy, don't put a front-end project. If the JD is front-end heavy, don't put a back-end project. You have to make sure that your project also aligns with the JD. It is essential. 
that's why i always suggest keep a full stack project because your full stack project will go for front end also will go for back end also will go for apis also and will go for database heavy roles also so keep one full stack project that is something i always suggest for you guys but the main point is you should have high quality good projects in your resume don't put basic projects like a single page project or you know just like a two page project have some complexity in your project have a proper front end have a proper back end have a proper connection and the most important part if possible try to integrate ai into it but every company is looking for you know ai skills right now i do market research on a daily basis so trust me most of the companies or every company out there are somewhat looking for people who know how to dabble with ai who know how to sort of integrate ai or use ai into their project so it is essential if you get time if you are able to integrate ai into your project even if it is something as simple as calling a gemini api summarizing notes having a chat app you know prompting an image anything but try to integrate ai a gemini api or any other ai's api in your project because again that will make you that will show off that you know you're able to know how to use llm how to integrate llm so do all of these things and your resumes inside your resumes content will be pretty good with that now apart from the content of course there are some other things that you need to work with because of course ibm as a company they'll be receiving a lot of applications so they'll be having a filtering system an automatic filtering system which will obviously check your resume and if your resume doesn't have a good at score it will get rejected so make sure your resume has a good template i'll give you a template you can just use that and make sure your resume has a good at score go to website like resume world at enhance cv and try to have a at score of 75 or above okay there are few things that you can work on to improve your at score like spelling grammar using different verbs not using repetitive verbs you know putting quantifying effects in your project description all of these things you can do and that will surely increase your at score a bit if not by a lot at least a bit so that you can at least push it to 75 and above at least 70 70 and 75 is like the safe side below that it's a danger zone below that there's something wrong in your resume because that's what ads checks for it checks for correctness of the resume it checks for the consistency in the resume so those things nobody is manually checking nowadays the first screening via which the resume goes through is always automatic right so your resume will get select will get rejected by the shortlisting criteria if you're not having a good ads score so focus on ads score focus on the resume template and of course the other thing is use the right keywords once you have the right keywords once you have the right projects your resume will already have a great chance apart from that one more thing you can do to increase your chances of getting shortlisted is try by adding something extra by that i mean if you have any hackathon experience see ibm is a company which will care for these things especially if you have any open source experience ibm will care for this because ibm has rewards and things for open source right ibm takes part heavily in open source so if you have any open source experience mention it in your resume if you have any hackathon experience mention it in your resume if you have any certifications by ibm again mention it in your resume because of course ibm also does certifications and all so all of these things are a bit of extra things that people don't do people don't talk about but if you do these things company by company it can increase your chances of getting your resume shortlisted so if you have any certification by ibm or any other even reputed company like oracle any other company add the certification and if you have taken part in any hackathon even if you didn't win you got a decent rank put it in the resume you did open source even if you didn't get selected into a very reputable program you did open source mention that that you have contributed to open source you know like talking about those things in the resume is going to show, show to the recruiter that you have hands on experience you have practical experience and trust me that is very impressive apart from that you can also put your dss skills in your resume even though it may not matter that much but yeah having your dss skills in your resume can help in a variety of companies so mention your lead code if you have a good rating if you've gotten a good ranking mention that and of course give a link to your lead code and put one line about dss like solved 500 plus problems on lead code gmt etc or solved xyz problem on xyz platform so everything along with the link to apply is going to be in the description box okay so go to the description box and then apply in time because last time they closed it pretty soon and a lot of you guys were mad about it but here it is open today it is open now to so make sure that you apply for it on time okay so yeah that's pretty much it i'll be making a couple of more videos because a lot of companies are hiring today it's a great day right and we have diwali coming up soon enough right so happy diwali in advance for that as well so make sure that you keep an eye out for all of the openings today and make sure that you apply for all of them so yeah stay subscribed stay tuned thank you for watching